In this part, we're going to show you how to fill the system for the first time. The coolant comes in concentrated form. In order to prepare the cooling liquid, you must take a 100 milliliter clear coolant concentrate, which is enclosed with the kit, and mix it with 900 milliliter of distilled water that is not enclosed. Make sure you mix the mixture properly before pouring it into the liquid cooling loop. Remove the top cover of your reservoir by unscrewing it in counterclockwise direction. It is recommended to protect the exposed hardware with a few paper towels, just in case you have a leak or mistakenly spill a coolant when pouring it. Take the pre-mixed coolant and pour it into the reservoir until the coolant level is about 2 centimeters below the top. Close the reservoir with a top cover. Turn the power supply on briefly and check that only the pump is running. You will notice the coolant will be pushed from the reservoir to the pump and tubes. Once the coolant level lowers, shut down the power supply immediately. Repeat this process several times until the coolant level becomes steady about 2 centimeters below the edge. During this process, never let your pump run dry. If this is happening, for a prolonged period of time, you may risk destroying water pumps bearing, rendering the pump useless. You can now shake and tilt the PC chassis to remove any air possibly trapped in the radiator. You may need to add more coolant. It is best practice to run your pump for at least 24 hours in order to ensure the system is leak free. Once the 24 hour leak test has been completed and there is no sign of leaking fluid, you are free to finish your build. After a leak test period, all you have to do is connect the fans and the pump to your motherboard. Take the cable with 4-pin PWM connector from the pump reservoir unit. Plug it into the mail connector header located on your motherboard. Always use CPU fan header. On majority of motherboards, these headers usually offer best PWM regulation. To connect all the fans to a single fan header, you might need to use EK Cable Y Splitter. Connect the female connectors from the fans with male connectors on the fan splitter cable. Connect the female EK Cable Y Splitter connector to the male connector header located on the motherboard. Always use CPU fan header. Consult your motherboard installation manual if you are not sure which header to use. Reconnect all your power supply cables to finish off the build. Your build is now truly legendary.